We're back on Born Before 64 with our show about daddies, grandmas, mm -hmm. and grandchildren. And, you know, I just love, Marty, these books that were in the daddy's trunk bag. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's really important to have a trunk bag. Did you know that? Why? <laughs> you are carrying everything. <laughs> Moms and dads both need their own bag to carry everything because it seems like when you have a little one, all of a sudden you find you need everything or you need to entertain them. So it is great to have an extra bag that you can just, that's the child's bag and it's the go bag. That's you know, right. you throw it all in the go bag. <laughs> what I love about this, col the colors on this are so beautiful. And the daddy's book is just so well illustrated. Look at those pictures. Aren't they sweet? Those are really cute. They are really cute. And they've used a lot of beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. And that's what little kids and little babies like. I know Kay Cassie, she loves going with her dad to the store, to everywhere. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have these type of pieces for them, you're really in trouble. <laughs> it can right? be a miserable trip, yes. Now tell yes. me something. Um, Buddy loves, does Buddy love books? He does, and that is his and my special thing. I love to read. I'm a huge reader of books. I love to read. And from uh -huh. the time he came home from the hospital, I would read to him. Right. Um, and that's kind of our special time and you know all kids have like the same book that they want you to read over and over and they can practically read it to you and it's kind of fun you know um, to introduce right. new books to them and that and these this is kind of one of my favorites Clifford um, Clifford is just the big red dog and this right. has always been one of my favorite books and favorite shows with the, my my girls when they were little um, so this is a great book especially if you have a dog at home too because then they can kind of relate to that and the other one I was really thought it was really neat to see is I love you Daddy, this is one of the little golden books. We've all had little golden books as right. kids, and they're just the classic standard, I think. They're just great, great books. Um, a Bernstein Bear books, you know, as they get a little bit older, because it talks about families and doing different things. Um, so these are really just wonderful books to have as staples. And these are the Walt Disney series, I think. This is mm -hmm. Daddy Duck, and you have What Daddy Bear Loves. And you know what I like about these books is because when they're little and their hands, they're trying to learn to use their hands and stuff, these are really good for them because they learn to be able to turn pages. They're thick enough. They're not going to fall apart. They're not going to rip. And the pictures are nice and bright, and the words are just very simple and clear. And, and kids just respond so well to these. You know, and it shows Dad and the little one going through um, going through the forest, so things that your dad and you would do as, you know, as the child grows up. So that's just a really well illustrated and really just a nice book, a nice size too when they're younger um, that they can also feel and manipulate with their fingers and, and go through without hurting the book that you don't have to worry they're going to tear it up. Right, and don't you just love the books that you can do a recording? Mm -hmm. uh, when, when Cassie was first um, a small baby, we actually um, did recorded books. Mm -hmm. and and she loves them today mm -hmm. and she knows that grandma and grandpa are right there with her right mm -hmm. and she she has a big charge out of it yeah. you know some of the other things that that i think that this uh inventor came up with mm -hmm. was he's got a box which i thought was really sharp and in that box i'm daddy it had not only the hat mm -hmm. that akeem wore but a coffee cup because you know dads need to have some coffee every <laughs> once in a while. Sunglasses. Yeah. Sun. See, I'm a daddy. Mm -hmm. And then I love these sunglasses. These things are so cute. And it says um, NFL American Daddy or <laughs> NL. I'm an American. No, I'm an American Daddy <laughs> on the side of the sunglasses, which I thought was really really cool. Mm -hmm. And then over on the other side of the cup. Are those footprints we talked about? Yeah, the right? adorable, adorable and footprints. Then they also had in there. They had the scrubs, mm -hmm. right, and a shirt. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? The shirt and the sweatshirt, I think, was also in and there. The sweatshirt, yeah, and, which I thought was really cool. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, the other one that I thought was really cute was this shirt that you love. This one here. They need to have one for grandmas. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We need to have a division for grandmas. Yeah, that says I'm the grandma. My name is I'm the cookie. So I would be I'm the cookie for my little well, my little I'm buddy. Well, I'm banana. <laughs> banana. You know, kind yeah. of banana, banana, banana. And that's yeah. how she remembered it. Yeah, but isn't this a cute? I just think the box itself would be the greatest. You know, women get to go to the baby showers and they get all the presents and stuff. And I think what a great idea this would be to give to a dad as a dad's shower gift. How fun would it be as 
he gets his coffee mug, he gets his hat, he gets his glasses. What a great shirt. What a great shirt. That's the back, and then this is the front. It says daddy on the back, yeah, and mm -hmm. they love I'm that. I'm the daddy, yeah. I just, I love the shirt, and what I really, really love. And then you've got another thing right there. Let's yeah. see what this is. This, I, I can see every dad wanting this. This is a sweatshirt. What a great hoodie. What a great hoodie. It says daddy on front, and on the back it says too. I'm the daddy. I know that Patrick would love that. What a great hoodie. Do you know they take, yeah. they, they do mountain climbing, they do mm -hmm. um, hiking and all that kind of good stuff and any of these beautiful products could go very easily, mm -hmm. you know, out there. Um, you know, one of the things that I, I love that idea of the daddy shower. Why aren't why aren't we doing daddy showers? Uh, yeah. I, you know, I just think it's, I think people don't know what to buy for them. I, what, what do you get for the dad? I don't think they know what to do, you That's know, fun. to get for them. What a great idea. Because, you know, every dad's going to want to wear this. Even when your kid's four or five, you're going to want to have this hoodie on. You're going to love it because it's like, well, I'm special because I am the dad. You know that, right. that's right. Really and cool I think thing. that's I think that's really important um, is to, you know, when moms are going through their pregnancy, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're feeling everything, mm -hmm. and the only time you get to feel is when you touch and you can feel that baby moving around. Mm -hmm. You can hear the heartbeat. I remember when we were pregnant, right? Mm -hmm. There wasn't this, there wasn't all this. Mm -mm. And I know that when I went through, because our daughter was high risk, we, I actually got to go with her to hear the heartbeat, mm. you know, when she went to her doctor's mm -hmm. office. And there was so much going on all the time with her. And she was on bed rest. Oh, so yeah. we, we kind of went out there and, you know, we're with her through the whole pregnancy. And I think the funniest thing was, is that she was going to have a cesarean. Mm. Well, she didn't know she was going into labor. <laughs> and she drove us to the hospital. Oh, my goodness. Uh. And when we got to the hospital, the doctor said, did you know you were in labor? Yeah. <laughs> and she said, oh, I thought it was just some gas pains or something. Uh -huh. You know, and, and she really didn't realize it. But her sweet mm. husband was right there you know, and I had to wear scrubs, too. Mm -hmm. We need to have grandma scrubs. <laughs> That's right? right. That's right. I'm out here nervous, too. Now, my daughter, when she went into labor, we went to the hospital three times. Oh, my gosh. False labor? Yes. Three, oh three times. So by right? the time she finally had him, I was like, I would have been happy to have a pair of scrubs on just to relax and have a cup of coffee. Go, oh, my gosh. Okay, this is really it. <laughs> well, we had to be there, Marty, at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm. And by the, you know, and... We actually got to be there when the baby came into the room. I got to go mm. in, and Patrick actually got to hold the baby. Mm. Yeah, she, you know, he was there with her going through the whole thing, and then I got to be there and hold her hand when she was sewn up and all that other stuff. Mm. But we have such precious pictures of that. Yeah. And I just think that there are so many people that would really like the experience, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. I, do. I mean, I think Bill would have loved to have seen his daughter being born, mm -hmm. but back then they really didn't allow him in the delivery room mm -mm. or the birthing room or right. whatever you want to call yeah. it, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you can, mm -hmm. for some of these products and stuff like this, and to find out more information about the company mm -hmm. per se and the story behind Daddy Scrubs, actually, Rob. Uh, Robert was a pharmacist. Oh, and this became a new business when he became a daddy again. Wow, which was pretty was pretty awesome. Yeah. So we are running out of time for this segment. So mm. we'll be right back mm. on Catherine Raker's Born Before 64 with Marty and myself, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 